All right. So, if you have any if you guys forgot what we did overnight, so we started off by analyzing a three mass system. So two dangling masses and one mass that was on the uh, on a desk or whatever. And when the system's released. First thing you had to do was to, would decide whether or not it was actually going to uh, accelerate or stay still. Okay, so we did the whole first part of the question. Part A was, will the system even move? And we figured out that when we compared the difference in the forces of gravity, uh, well, sorry, where was that free body diagram that we did? Okay, the force of gravity from block C uh, subtracted, when you subtract from that the force of gravity from block A and the static friction, it was still greater. Okay, so we, we, we figured out that the system was going to accelerate to the right. After we figured that out, part B, we actually had to calculate the system's acceleration. So we worked out the net force and divided the net force by the total mass of the system to get the uh, acceleration of 1.16 meters per second squared. And now part C, the thrilling conclusion to this question. Okay, part C. Determine the tension in each of the ropes. If I go back up to um, the top here, let's call this T1. for tension one, and we'll call this one tension two. Okay, when you guys were figuring out tensions before for any just two mass system, um, what did you do? How did you figure out the tension? Because it's an internal force to the system. Okay. That's right, yeah, so... Um, in this case, we're going to, because there's really a last type of block, we're going to look at, for the T1, we're going to look at block A, and then for T2, we're going to look at block C. Okay, and that'll give us the, uh, the we'll, by analyzing those two three body diagrams, we can uh, figure out the entire tension. So, part I, we'll start with block A. we will start with T1. forces at play on uh, block A. We've got force of gravity pulling down on it and the tension force pulling up on it. So the net force, really straightforward, is just the sum of those two forces. Now we don't have two variables in this equation. Okay, right now we're missing T1, so what we're solving for, and we don't have F net calculated for block A, but we can calculate that. You got it. Again, the second way to express F net is mass times acceleration. Right, what was the mass of block A? 5.8 and the acceleration of the system 1.16. Can someone just throw that new calculator? Oh, you got it? Nice. 6.7. Uh, we've been keeping three sig figs, I think. So 6.73 figs. Now, what direction is that going to be in? Yeah, well, not that way. Uh, for this specific block, yeah, up. All right? A is on the left-hand side, 
And since the whole system's moving like this, if we just look at block A, it's going to be moving up. And that's what we're going to call, what we're going to call positive for the next step. So sub this back in. We've already calculated what's um, FG back in block A. We've already done that. 6.9? So 6.73 newtons plus 56.9 is going to give us T1. Nando? 63.6? That's good. Yeah. It's moving, yeah. We already did that in part A yesterday. All right, now um, we're going to do the exact same process, looking at block C to figure out the tension in uh, T2. Straightforward, same process all over again. So let's start with um, let's start with MA. Okay, so what's block C? That's it. Eight point nine. And the acceleration is the same as the whole system. Now this one, is it up as well? This one's moving down because now we're looking on the right hand side of the whole system. All right, so let's call, uh, we'll still call up positive. So that's going to end up being negative 10.3 when we sub that in. So the net force is the sum this time of T2 plus Fg acting on block C. So the net force we just calculated is 10.3 newtons. T2 is what we're solving for. And we've already calculated somewhere along the lines of the force of gravity acting on block C. Thank you. And that's going to be negative, because it's down. OK, so that ends up working like to 70, exactly. 70 newtons? Yeah. Is that wrong? Yeah, of course, guys. Come on now. <laughs> That's as tricky as, I, I wouldn't even ask for something that tough. I'm, I'm going to ask you probably a, a question with friction, um, but not with three masses and two tensions because it just takes way too much time on the test. All right, so there will be a frictional type of pulley or train type question on the test, but it's not, it's not going to be as big as this. Okay.
Yeah. Did you take up the, the question? I did, yeah. Um, are we going to have stuff that's going to be 